Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're building part two of the build of the LEGO City Jungle Mobile Lab. This is how far we made it in part one. It's basically the jungle portion of the mobile lab. We've got this cool little waterfall feet, uh, play feature thing with actually a ton of playability in this thing. And then we have this awesome little Venus flytrap style uh, plant. Very, very cool. So uh, if you missed this uh, part one, check it out. There's gonna be a link down below. Uh, we're not going to get too much into that because we're moving on to our second instruction book and our third of five bags. So we basically have three more bags to go in this portion of the build. We will finish it in this part. We're not going to have a part three. It's just a two-part build video. So there's our bag three parts and we have a small bag and the big bag and we're good to go so we have looks like a couple minifigures in this bag it should finish off all of the minifigures so we'll start with this guy so this is going to be the, the guy on the canoe He's an explorer, so he kind of has the Lego standard jungle explorer style torso. Um, he has a life preserver. And he's going to be holding a, a canoe paddle. And this, this bar is not a new piece. You can see it's the bar that has the stop. But these little paddle pieces are new. And you can see it's a little paddle but then it has the bar hole on the end so you put it like that and they they're supposed to be put on with the uh, alternating ones turned 90 degrees compared to the other so that is our canoe guy and the canoe is this thing Basically, we're going to put that piece there. He's going to go right in here. And then we're going to put a little inkwell type piece right there. And that's going to hold the camera element. The camera simply slides over the top. And there should be a trans clear tile. Yeah, that's it for the canoe. So that's a cool, cool little piece. Um, the second minifigure for this bag, and I believe the last minifigure for the set, is the mechanic. So he has the, the white undershirt with the suspenders. You can see there's a wrench sticking out of his back belt area and then he's got mud dirt grease all kinds of uh, grime all over him which looks really cool i mean it fits the fits the part if you're going for a nice clean minifigure this isn't the guy for you but if you're looking for someone that's not afraid to get dirty then this is your man right here very good so that is it for the minifigures so we're moving on to the the mobile lab. So the, the, the name of the set is called the Jungle Mobile Lab. And it's not until the third bag of parts and our second video that we're even beginning to see anything related to the mobile lab. So this is uh, all that's going to be left for the, the build is just this big um, off-road mobile truck so similar to all lego city vehicles we have a lot of plates and then these plates that have the technic pins those are going to be what the wheels and tires will eventually attach to Just going down the 
step by step, hitting every step, and really all it is is just attaching more and more plates until we get through it all. So it's interesting, we start over here and make our way down, and then we've gone back and made our way back down. Now we're back to the, to the right side and we're going left again. So this is the third time we've made a full sweep. These large bricks here. This plate with a bar element on the back. We have two brackets. Inverted slopes are really not being held on with anything just yet. Until we put this on, this will hold them on. Some trans orange one by one plates. I guess those represent some lights. that have studs on the side. A couple corner plates. And two tiles and we're gonna use the first set of stickers. So in part one of this build, we did not use any stickers. So that means in this portion of the video, we're gonna use them all. So these are the same sticker that we're putting on each one of these tiles. Pretty cool looking decoration. Looks like it has some straps and some sort of handles or grab bars of some sort. So that adds some nice decoration to this truck. So you'll notice there's a rainbow of colors on the inside of this. The red, the green, the blue, all of those colors should be covered up with the final bodywork of the model. Or the bulk of them should be. I'm saying that based on the picture on the, the front of the box that's sitting in front of me. I don't see any these colors exposed. All right, so we have a steering wheel and we have this mustard yellow color. And this is the color that the final outside body of the vehicle is going to be in. these pieces on you can kind of tell where the, the finished model is going to finish out at. We have these fender pieces and these are the one of the newer styles where it has the vertical and then a slight radius, a horizontal piece of the fender and then another slight radius and a small vertical portion. It's actually a nice looking fender element. And we'll put these bow shapes on here and those will hold them on. So they're not going anywhere now. We have two more of these inverted slopes. And 
And we are going to have this black stripe going through the whole truck. So this is the beginning of it. We have two more corner plates right there. And we have these window panels. These are going to get the little glass piece in them. Couple tiles and a couple plates. And there we go. That finishes instruction book two. So we're moving on to our third and final instruction book. And we're moving on to our fourth bag of parts. Okay, we have all of our bag four parts out. And we're moving the truck portion off to the side because we have this pretty big plate that we're gonna begin building the next portion on. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the actual mobile lab that, I don't know, does it come off of the truck? Maybe? I thought the truck was the lab. So once again, the mustard yellow that you're seeing here is the outside finished color of the truck. Got these big kind of fender pieces, or uh, rear wing pieces, not sure what it is. Uh, we have a sticker. This looks like a, a map. So when they're exploring the jungle, they kind of can mark where they're at. That goes there. Have these little one by ones with clips. And a sloped piece. Turn this over, we have a plate right there. A box with a door. That will go there. And this blue windscreen panel and another box with the door and another one of these clips with a one by one brick on it all right so we have another Panel. This is going to get sticker number six. That's another it's more of like a computer screen. It's not quite a big map, but it looks like it has some sort of chart or diagram that may be mapping something out one of those generic type of stickers where you could probably use your imagination and make up something about what it actually is. All right, two more panels. A white plate and a jumper tile. green 
canisters with some sort of lid on them. Oops. Sorry about that. Totally just murdered my camera with my fist. All right, so we have another sticker here. Brackets hang down. Now we have two of these inverted slopes with a regular plate on top. I say regular plate because there's in my little pile of parts off to the side, there's modified plates that are the same shape and it just has various clips or other things on them that you I want to make sure you choose the right part. And we have two tiles there. Okay. So let's build a door. And of course I would drop apart. So we have sticker number one. That goes there. We have our windscreen piece. This brick will get sticker number two. these two pieces on right there and the door shuts now here's some of those modified one by twos I was talking about it has the bar on the side another one of the modified ones. This one has a clip on the top. All right, looks good. Couple tiles, slotted tile there. Two more tiles there. plates have the clips on them and those clips line up perfectly with those bars just clip it on there close that shut so now you can open up this little mobile lab like that to have complete access on the inside it's a little unrealistic I think in the, the real mobile labs like this don't completely open up like that this is really more or less modified to be like a little mobile dollhouse where you can open it up and actually have complete playability with it. Okay, so with this whole module built, we bring over our 
frame or the truck body and this yeah I guess attaches right there like that all right looks good so that completes bag four so let's move on to our fifth and final bag right now Okay, we have all of our back five parts out and ready to go. They're actually dumped off to the side because I wanted to keep the model right here in the middle so we can see it. So we'll put a couple plates, I mean uh, bricks, right there. And I was wondering if this piece was gonna come off, but after looking at what we're about to do, it uh, confirms that we are actually not going to be taking it off. Um, so what we have are these double wide baby bow shapes. They both have little grill type or vent stickers on them. And these will overlap the black bricks we just put on onto the actual mobile lab piece. And that is one locking mechanism that uh, prevents that from breaking loose. Um, so we're gonna turn this around to the back side. We have these brackets that are exposed we put some brake lights on those brackets there. And then these tiles overlap both of the brackets. And that's another locking mechanism that more or less locks that mobile lab piece onto the frame of the truck. So this is not gonna be um, a module that you can pop off. I guess you could modify it maybe to do it if you wanted it to, but I think it, it's gonna work out better if it remains attached to the truck, just in my opinion. All right, so we have this pretty unfinished front side of the truck. So that's what we're gonna start working on completing now. This bracket type piece, couple of baby bow shapes. We have some black slotted tiles, some clear cheese slopes. So we turn this around like this. And this will attach onto the studs that are on the side there. And as you can see, it adds some studs right up here. So what we're gonna do is connect these quarter plates. That will overlap all of those studs and more or less hold that on to where it's not going anywhere. So here's our front windscreen. Before we put it on the truck, we're gonna put these trans orange studs on the underside. Turn it back over. Now we'll go there. So those orange studs are just attached to the bottom side of this windscreen because there's nothing for them to attach to right there. It's a pretty uh, smart little trick. All right, so we have a tile. Now we have this light bar piece. And some yellow lights on it. That will go there. This is a pretty cool little technique. So we have this newer one by one stud type piece. It's really a modified plate, but it has the bar on it. And we're gonna take this black crowbar element and from the underside push it under there it actually clips on it doesn't feel like it has a really tight grip but it does clip on you can see once you put it on there it kind of makes it look like it's creating this protective cage for the front of the vehicle So we'll do the other. 
other side, just like that. Um, what do we got next? So, oh, these are the side view mirrors. Guess what time it is? Yay! It is last sticker time. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. So this piece actually has a plate. We'll attach this part on there. Tile, two plates with clips. Then we have two or more of these little modified one by ones with a little bar piece. That'll make some lights on the top and that will attach top of the truck like that. Very good. So last thing we have is our six wheels and tires. And basically the wheels slide in the tire like that. And then they attach there. And through the power of movie magic. I have these already ready to go. So I'll just pop those on. Just like that. And there you go. That is the uh, forest. Or I mean, not forest. This is the jungle. This is more than a forest. This is a jungle. It's the jungle mobile lab. So what you can do is take the canoe part. That's what that little jumper tile up there is for. You can put the canoe there. And then when canoe guy is ready to explore the river, take that off, let him jump in the water, and explore away. So I'll go ahead and, let's see, let me move this back up. Actually, I'll do this down a bit because we need to get all of this in the view. I'll move this box out of the way. So. We have our jungle lab here. This is the cool waterfall feature that has the, the fun little crocodile that comes out from behind the water while they are exploring, looking for the hidden gem. And then probably my favorite part of the whole set is the Venus flytrap style plant. Spider jumps in there and lunch. Lunch time. And the mechanic. Maybe one of my favorite minifigures from the set. Yeah, I would say, because the jungle explorers are kind of the same, all three of them. Um, even the, the girl that's just in the lab coat, she's kind of basic. Um, so the, uh, mechanic guy is pretty cool with the, the dirty shirt and the, the dirty face. You don't see that a lot in, in Lego minifigures. Some collectible minifigures you see, some dirt stains and stuff. But to see, um, this guy have all that dirt on him, or grease or whatever that is, is pretty cool. And I like the way he's... He's wearing a tank top, but he's got um, mechanic gloves on. That's why his hands are, are gray color and not the, the minifig yellow color. So anyway, very cool. Little minifigure there. Now, they didn't really give us a river to put this guy in. So I guess you have to use your spare parts to make a little river for him to go uh, exploring in. So as of right now, it looks like he's just on the ground. And that's kind of how they show it on the, the box artwork. They show a, like a Photoshop style river. Let me show you real quick. Right there. Obviously none of that is made out of Lego. The Lego part is back here and then the lab that we built. So you see there's a lot of, a lot of simulated scenery that's been 
photoshopped onto that uh, picture. But that's uh, really more or less to give you that uh, starting point to you know expand on this and make your own cool little jungle scene. And I may do that. This, this sub-theme of LEGO City is becoming kind of one of my favorite sub-themes. Um, I really like the uh, kind of the, the natural feel to it, but then also some of the cool new parts and obviously the minifigures are pretty cool as well. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you watch both parts, let me know. Um, I, I'm trying to get more people to watch both parts of these videos, so let me know if you watch both. I'm going to reward the people that watch both videos or that watch the whole video. Um, I haven't figured out yet how. Um, I'm, I'm welcome to uh, anyone commenting. Let me know how you want to be rewarded for watching both parts and uh, extra rewarded for watching the whole thing. So um, tell me your ideas. Um, it may be a giveaway. It may be, you know, some sort of uh, um, custom item that I make and, and, and mail to you guys or whatever. But um, I want to get more and more people watching all the videos and or more of the video. So let me know your thoughts and um, I'm going to be entertaining all ideas. So let me know. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.